fine to gonna see there. Well, I'm James. I'm gonna be your PT and welcome to the gym. I'm assuming this is your first time with us. Lovely. Well, I hope you understand that before we can let you loose in the gym, we've got to ask you a couple of health questions. Just make sure that you're okay, fit and healthy. God forbid anything happen to you, it would be on our watch. So uh, you're my responsibility for the moment. So I hope you don't mind going through the questions with me and we'll get you all set and sorted into the weight area and we can have some proper fun. Sound good? Okay. Well, we're going to start with um, just the basics. So we've got everything on file that we need. Uh, so, full name. Date of birth. Oh wow. Well, you look very good. <laughs> Didn't expect that. So you'll have to tell me what the secret to the eternal youth that you've got is. <laughs> uh cool. <laughs> well um home address. Oh, you've just moved here. Cool. Yeah, so hence the gym sign up. How are you finding it? Mm. Well, I mean, it's quiet. There's not a huge amount that happens here, but it's a good place to clear your head, you know. It's good for trying to focus and get yourself back on track without any of the big distractions of the noisy city. It's a nice, quiet, sleepy town. Uh, that's what you need. It's not a particularly busy gym either, so once we get in there, it'll just be me and you. Gotta block everything else up. A little bit of history now about your family health. Um, any history of heart conditions in the family? Okay. Diabetes. Mm -hmm. um, any eye problems like glaucoma, partial blindness, blindness, okay. any joint issue, uh, issues, arthritis, that kind of thing. Oh, right, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, yeah. Do you struggle with mobility at all? You know, getting around, moving. Alright, that's good. Um, anything untoward in the health department that we should be aware of? Any medications that you're currently taking? No. Your GP has not advised you against physical exercise? No. Your GP has not told you that you have high blood pressure? No. And you can send to an exam and an induction. Thank you very much. Okay. Just a quick check to see how your heart is. I'm sorry, I have to do it. It's part of the policy. Put this in here. This is a stethoscope. It just allows me to hear your heart. If you wouldn't mind undoing that button there, very good. I'm just going to put this in and ask you to breathe, sort of, about that rhythm. Okay, I'm just going to come here. Very good. You can move a little closer if you don't mind. And around this side. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. It's going to take an ear out so we can hear what you're saying. 
Um, you haven't had COVID or any kind of illness like that in the past six months, have you? No, okay. Just gonna try and come around the back if I can. You don't smoke? Okay. Keep breathing and this time I'd like you to just hold your breath. Hold it. Give me a quick cough. Oh, okay. Just gonna try the same on this side. And hold it. Quick cough. Alright. Doesn't sound like there's anything to worry about no? Uh I'm just gonna do a temperature check. Again, since the pandemic we have to do all these silly things. I'm not a fan, but uh, open your mouth. Thank you. Just gonna put this here. Very good, that's nice and normal. Okay, and lastly, I'm just gonna take a, uh, a pulse. Hopefully you have one. And uh, hopefully it's within the safe range. I'm just gonna do this um, here, okay? Or if you could just relax, try not to think of anything that's gonna cause you anxiety because it will uh, artificially raise your pulse. All right, and uh, just on your wrists, huh? Either or. Very good. Well, I mean, your BPM sounds within a nice safe range. So, um, I want to discuss with you a little bit about your goals. I want to try and um, walk you through a workout safely and instill some good principles and habits into you so that going forwards, um, you learn these right at the beginning. Things like, uh, you know, how long to do exercises for, like concentrating on the eccentric portion as well as the concentric portion. All these things will start to make sense as we get into that. I'm not gonna overload you. I'm gonna try and put it in nice, simple, easy to understand terms, okay? Uh, obviously, getting in shape is not something you can just do overnight. So given that it's like a big goal, a big task, you wanna sort of, sort of break it down to a smaller, more achievable, goals. So we maybe start by saying, okay, well, let's uh, try and hit 10,000 steps a day. A Fitbit or any kind of uh, small watch, fitness watch, really good for tracking those. Um, let's say we're going to try and hit 10,000 steps a day. We're going to try and come to the gym three times a week, maybe, if that's easily achievable, maybe four times a week. Um, obviously, Rome wasn't built in a day, and Great bodies are not built overnight, but it's faster than you think if you are just consistent. All right, so uh, what would you like to focus on? What's your, um, what are your sort of main goals that you have in mind when you think, ah, that's what I want from the gym? Is it functionality? Is it fitness? Is it more just aesthetics? You just want to look good. There's no harm in that. <laughs> We're a very, um, aesthetic society and whether it's a good thing or not or how you look can definitely get you further in life than um, if you don't pay attention to how you look so obviously everybody wants to be fitter and healthier but you know it can change your confidence levels and your mental health by just feeling better about yourself and looking you know liking what you see when you look in the mirror okay well Let's just do a little quick sort of overview, have a look what I, uh, with my humble opinion, would say we can focus our efforts on. If you're comfortable taking your shirt off, then by all means do, you don't have to. Okay. Oh, you got two layers on, great. All right. Well, the good news is you seem in pretty good shape to start off with, definitely 
not even close to the worst that I've seen. Probably some of the, the better <laughs> towards the top end of uh, it, you look good. Um, obviously everybody wants to trim down their waistline, including me. We're gonna work on that, I think. Um, we'll get a little bit of tone in your upper body and we'll get a little bit of junk in the trunk, so to speak. Sound good? All right. I say today we start off with an upper body workout. We're gonna use light weights and we're just gonna really focus on getting the movements right, okay? All right. Grab your dumbbells. There should be two next to you. You can pick from uh, any weight, I would say. We're gonna be doing a relatively high amount of reps, so don't pick the heaviest ones. <laughs> Just help you. There. Okay. So, uh, right at the start of any workout, you generally want to pick a lighter weight than you would use for like a, a working set that we call. And this is to get some blood into the muscle, just kind of warm up. We're not really trying to do any damage with these. We're just getting used to the exercise. So we're gonna start with some side raises to here. And then we're gonna lower them down slowly. So up, and then lower them down. Keep going, just watch me. Up, and then down. From this side, up, and then down. Obviously, you don't wanna be super duper slow, but what you don't wanna do is up and then just drop the weight. That's, um, that's bad for a whole host of reasons, but you keep going. Very good. Keep going. Just gonna come around and adjust your form. Arms up. Okay. Just gonna straighten you out here. That's very good. And back down again. All right, very good. Up. And back down again. Good, okay. We're going to switch now to front raises. We're working through the various heads of the shoulder muscle. Now, I like to do these one at a time. Don't know why, I just prefer that. We're still going to do the same amount of reps, okay? So, I get a nice comfy position. Feet about shoulder width apart. And I'm going to bring the weight from my side in front and then lower it down. And then here, and then down. Three, four, four, six, seven, eight. We're going to do about 10 or 12. If you can do 12, do 12. Very good. I'm just going to keep going so you can see. Good. Put the weight down, shake it out. Next, and I really would pick a lightweight for this. This works what's called the rotator cuff. It's an essential part of your shoulder, but we're gonna start with the weight sort of out like this. And we're gonna go back like this and then lower it forwards. I call these the elbowing the guy behind you in the face exercises. Relatively sure that's not the official term, but it kind of gets the point through. Very good. Keep going. As you can see, this is just kind of warming up that area, getting blood into the muscle. 
very good. Keep going on this side. All right, the last one on the shoulders before we move on. Just gonna raise the weight up. Then I want you to twist your arm like this. So up here. So you can see. You can do them at the same time. So up here. Just a few times and then back down. This is again getting blood into the area. Keep going. And I'm just going to walk around while you do that. I'm going to keep checking your form. Keep going. Good. Mm, no, we're just a little bit lower here. Okay, that's better. Mm. Good, you're doing very well. Weights down, shake it out. It's warm in here, right? <laughs> now, we're going to work the uh, biceps. I would say that uh, it's easy to walk into a gym and pick up some weights and really sort of hammer your biceps, but uh, don't neglect your triceps. That's this muscle here, the back of your arm. They're um, two thirds of your arm. So if you want more toned arms, bigger arms, better arms, uh, I would say focus on your triceps before we will get to that. As we're doing barbell and dumbbell exercises, we're going to do curls. Now, on the floor in front of you should be a choice of various weighted barbells. Again, Go for one that you think you can do about 10 to 12. I would err on the side of lighter rather than heavier because we're just getting used to the exercise. So, I want you to keep your arms tucked in, your elbows tucked in by your side. Um, grip about just outside of shoulder width, where you grip the barbell sort of hits a different bit of your bicep, but as your standard bicep curl, I would say just outside your shoulder width, but that's what feels comfortable to me. So keeping your elbows tucked in, shoulders back, raise the weight up, lower it down slowly, okay? So Is it important to lower the weight down? Well, this bit is called the concentric portion. That's the up bit. Now, most people do this and then drop it. Drop it. However, the eccentric portion, that's the lowering back down, uh, is where you actually do most of the damage to the muscle. Not damage that's bad, the small micro tears in your muscle that are gonna result in your body overcompensating when it heals them and making your arms and muscles slightly bigger and slightly stronger than they were originally. Um, repeat that process and hey presto, that's how you build muscle and strength. So, concentric. Important, but not as important. Eccentric, down. Now, the up bit can be relatively fast. You kind of want reasonable explosive power. Obviously, you don't want to swing the weight so hard you're hitting the person behind you or yourself, which is more likely. Um, we're just explosive power. 
slowly back down. Very good, keep going. All right, it's important that you stretch out between your sets. Otherwise, you'll get very big, stiff, Don muscles, and you don't want that. Hug your shoulders. A little bit of tension, I can see that. Uh, just rub that out for you. Mm, not super appropriate, but hopefully you know I'm just trying to help. There we go. How does that feel? Mm, very good. Just go around this side, put your head down. Did actually do a course as part of my PT in you know, massage therapy, so you're more than welcome to some sessions after the gym. If you um if you put the work in. Very good. Doing awesome. Right, we're gonna do uh, I think one last exercise because you've done pretty well today. Mm, maybe second to last. We're gonna do a variation of what's called a clean and press. Now it's a little bit advanced, so we're gonna do a simplified version. But essentially we're gonna start with an overhand grip, that's this barbell about shoulder width apart again. We're gonna use a slight, slight rocking motion, a little bit of momentum, not breaking your back, not throwing yourself off balance, just a little bit of momentum. So you get the bar from here to here. Small pause while you just catch your breath. Prepare yourself to press it over your head, lower it back down slowly back to the starting position in motion that looks a bit like this. We just tighten this bad boy up. Don't want it to fly off midway through the exercise. comfy sort of gravity neutral position okay so up to here a slight pause while you just catch your breath and then press it back down back to the starting point uh, note we're not doing this um, we're not dropping it back down the whole thing is controlled, okay? It's about controlling the weight. Like you want to dominate the weight, you don't want the weight to dominate you. So. Back to the starting position. It's okay, as you might have seen me doing that, to take a little rest in between your sets. Now, you know, you know, having a sandwich, going to the shop, you're just taking a couple of seconds to catch your breath, recenter yourself, get that energy back in, and then bang, hit it again. I would much rather you take a little break in between, then put the weight down and give up the set. We're going to aim for about 10 repetitions. I don't know how many that is now. Oh, 
just the barbell. Like this is a 15 kilogram barbell, which is why I don't have a lot of weight in it because, you know, it's not the maximum that I can lift, but we're not looking to hit any personal best today. We're just looking to repeat the motion, get the exercise drilled into your head, make sure that you can do it properly and you're not hurting yourself. And I would say 80% of gym injuries happen because people are using a weight incorrectly or a weight that they can't handle. So err on the side of lighter until you are confident in your workouts and your uh, ability to execute the exercises correctly. You've got a fantastic body for building muscle and for putting on strength. I am pretty jealous of your genetics, to be honest. Me? Yeah. Uh, I was a fat kid. Yeah, no, seriously. Well, there's different types. There's um, people who are sort of heavier naturally and uh, they're very strong. That's their, generally their attributes or strength, but they find it hard to sort of get lean, get this six pack showing. Then you have people who are sort of uh, skinnier, naturally skinny people. And obviously their attributes are that they're very lean and muscle tends to show up quickly on their bodies and they look fantastic when they start building muscle. Uh, but they find weight gain and sometimes strength a bit harder. Then you have the people in the middle who are lean, but they're also strong and uh, they have the best of both worlds they are the third body type and uh, everybody hates them what I say you are um, probably I mean were you leaner growing up or fire right yeah that makes sense yeah I can see that well they're still good attributes to um, to bring to a fitness program and definitely if you stick with it and you stick with me the results will be pfft. if you think you look good now wait till you see you at the end wait till your friends and family see you they'll be blown away <laughs> anyway too much talking <laughs> giving this a workout today not good Keep stretching out. One last thing we're gonna do. Arms out like this and I'm just gonna move them in a circular pattern. I don't always sort of stretch down at the end of a workout, like stretch, we use to stretch, but it's definitely a good habit to get into. And same. And bring this arm across and this arm underneath. Stretch out there. Same on this side. Very good. Keep going. You do have some knots. Well, you don't have to work them out, but they will uh, prevent you from fully stretching out the muscle. So it's not a good habit to get into. You can either work them out yourself or you can pay professional masseuse to work them out for you. I would also uh, stress the importance of staying hydrated and getting good sleep. Mm. 
muscle isn't built in the gym, your body repairs itself after the gym, generally while you're asleep. So uh, putting in the sessions here is a great start, but if you don't reap the rewards at the end, if you don't get the benefits while you're sleeping, then you're wasting your time. So I'd advise really looking into getting a good sleeping plan, getting good sleep hygiene. Um, I listen to rain sounds or like atmospheric sounds, audio books that are relaxing, uh, ASMR, if you've heard of that, give that a try. But whatever you need to do to uh, make it easier for you to fall asleep and try and sleep as long as you can. Well, not 15 hours, but you know what I mean. Try not to uh, get less than six, definitely not less than six. Eight, ideally. Okay, good. I mean, we'll leave it there for now. I think you've put in uh, some good work. We've gone through your history. We've um, talked a little bit about your goals and we've gone through a brief, but I think um, quite positive upper body workout. Good. It's important that you build a good relationship with your PT. You learn to trust each other. I invest my time in you. You invest your trust in me, and together um, we get you to where you want to be. But this has been a really positive session. I think you are definitely a good candidate for um, for succeeding in this program. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, I think we shall pick in a couple of days. Let me know how you get on with your recovery. Try to eat more protein in the meantime, but we'll get into a diet and all that kind of stuff uh, next time, okay? Good. Well, it's been lovely to meet you in person. Um, and well done. I'm impressed with the effort that you put in. And I shall see you in a few days, okay?